Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, we give you thanks that you have brought us safely to this new day. And even as we worship you today, O oh God, may all things be done to your honor and to your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
of God as the book of covenant prayer. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Alleluia, Alleluia.
of the apostles and prophets. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us to be joined together in unity of spirit and teaching, that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God, grant that by the indwelling of your Holy Spirit, we may be enlightened and strengthened for the service. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen.
Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a great crowd gathered around him, and he was by the sea. Then one of the leaders of the synagogue named Jairus came and said, when he saw him, fell at his feet and begged him repeatedly, my little daughter is at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her, so that she may be well and live. So he went with him. And a large crowd followed him and pressed in on him. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for twelve years. She had endured much on the many physicians and had spent all that she had, and she was no better, but rather grew worse. She had heard about Jesus, and came up behind him in the crowd, and touched his cloak, for she said, If I will touch his cloak, I will be made well. Immediately, her hemorrhage stopped, and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. Immediately aware that power had gone forth from him, Jesus turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing in on you? How can you say, Who touched me? He looked all around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what she had, had happened to her, came in fear and trembling, fell down before him, and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. While he was still speaking, some people came from the leader's house to say, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? But overhearing what they said, Jesus said to the leader of the synagogue, Do not fear, only believe. He allowed no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they came to the house of the leader of the synagogue, he saw a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. When he had entered, he said to them, Why do you make a commotion and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. Then he put them all outside, and took the child's father and mother, and those who were with him, and went into where the child was. He took her by the hand, and said to her, Talitha Ko, which means, little girl, get up. And immediately the girl got up and began to walk about. She was about twelve years old. At this, they were overcome with amazement. He strictly ordered them that no one should know this, and told them to give her something to eat. The Gospel of Christ. Yeah. <laughs>
I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It's rather interesting to know 
that the woman's problem was as old as Jairus' daughter. To have a medical condition in Jamaica for so long with no doctors who cure would cause many of us to be suspicious as our mother of the
church proclaim your victory power. Strengthen all who seek to extend our lives and our vision. Bless all who are preachers or teachers in your church. We pray for churches, schools, and colleges. We pray especially for leaders. For Justin and Bishop of Canterbury, Howard Dyson and Bishop of Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, and our Bishop of the West Indies, Leon and Garth, Sabrina Bishops, Orlando and Carol, and for all others who will office in your church. Lord, forgive us where we are divided. Make us one. We pray for all who are working for unity and peace. Lord, we come to you. You can make us so. Lord of peace, be with all suffering from war, all divided peoples, all separated from loved ones, families and friends. We pray for refugees and displaced persons, for those living in slums, and those living on the streets, for all living in places that are not wholesome or life-giving. Give wisdom, we pray, to those who are called to lead and manage this country to make a land we love. Patrick, the Governor General, and to the Prime Minister, Mark, Leader of the Opposition, and all members of Parliament, the Senate, Councils, and Group Leaders, Lord, we come to you. You can make us whole. Lord, as you have given up to us in abundance, may we seek to share with any in need. In our community, help us to overcome divisions. Root out all that would poison or spoil our well-being. We pray for families that are divided for all suffering from factions and broken relationships. Lord, we come to you. You can make us whole. Lord of love, we pray for all who are seen as untouchable, for people who are rejected and feared by others. Be a presence of support to all who are severely handicapped, the mentally disturbed, to those suffering from leprosy, and to all who have AIDS. We pray for sick and shocking. We also remember all persons suffering from COVID-19. We pray that you will touch and heal them. Comfort all who lack affection. We pray for the broken hearted and the broken spirit. <coughs> Lord, we come to you. You can make us whole. Give strength to all who are watching by beds of sickness. All who are caring for loved ones who are dying. Comfort all who have lost loved ones this week and previous weeks. Especially the family of the Reverend Ronaldo Graham, those known to us and those unknown. Lord, we pray that your loved ones at party may arise to life eternal in Christ. Lord, we come to you. You can make us home. At this time, remember, at this time, Reverend Coran and the others who were ordained yesterday, both as priests and deacons. Also, we ask this time to pray for these and those of others. God, you created us in 
love and for eternity. And you gave your son that he should not perish, but have your last life. And you give us life and love. And you give us yourself. Help us to give our lives for love Remember that your brother or sister 
car has the convenience of bringing the car over the lines. So it's fine, I'm just on the other car. And I 
I must say that traditionally this mass would have been held in the evening. But we believe that it will be most appropriate to have the service this morning. Since we would have already been gathered. And so here we are today to celebrate and give our thanks for Reverend Carl Thomas. To show our appreciation, I'm going to be inviting Sister Isadora to come forward to formally make a presentation to her on behalf of the Southern Cure.
you give you a chance that you have been yourself for orientation. Do they get out of it first and then no to the priesthood? And we continue to pray God's blessing upon you. God bless you. Thanks also. 
also to those persons who have journeyed from near and far to support me. Finally, to my human family, I ask for your continued prayer and support as I assist our rector in this section of God's vineyard, recognizing that the harvest indeed is plentiful, but the laborers few are few. God bless you all.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Yeah.